An alternate program to using World Creator is Gaia. You can pick it up for one or two hundred dollars depending on the license you get. And this is a rad program. It's not as fast as World Creator because it doesn't rely on the GPU as much, but it has, I think, more control and more power. And it's all node based, so you have a lot more power and it's easier to understand the flow of things. So we're going to try to make a similar crater. It's not going to be quite the same, but we're going to use a different flow and see if we can get to a, another cool crater design. So by default, you start out with this nice little mountain, but we'll just delete all of that. And instead, we're actually going to start with the crater. Up here in the primitives, there's a crater, which we can just drag directly in. And that'll create this node. And so already we get this perfectly nice little crater. From there, we need to add some erosion. So we can grab this erosion patch here and just drag this directly in. And you can see as I click these different patches or nodes, it shows that respective patch. Now to make this look sandier, let's add deposits also under erosion and connect that up. And now you can see there's a lot of sand or dirt that's been accumulated and we're only left with these kind of sharp edges along the outside. And now that we have these three nodes built in, we can go back and adjust the parameters of each. So for the displacement of this, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. And I also want it to be a little deeper, so I'll increase this depth. That way we have a nice deep crater to start with. And to give us more room, I'll just drag this down. Now in the erosion patch, I'm going to increase this random sedimentation a little bit. And you'll notice nothing happens until we click apply changes. So this just adds some bumpiness around here. In the crater, I'm actually going to turn this displacement back down a bit. I was looking a little bit too rough. There you go, 7% looks nice, not as crazy. Now that erosion looks really nice. And in the deposits, maybe we'll dial this back a bit. And with a lot of these landscape generation programs, it's just a matter of tweaking values, kind of seeing the results, and then just adjusting from there. And so far we've been previewing at 0.5K. We can turn that up to 1K, and these should sharpen up after it regenerates. And I'm not gonna go through the whole process of exporting this and bringing it into Spark since we already did that with World Creator, but I'm just gonna kind of freestyle here and throw in a few of these nodes or patches and see how they work. So fold, and stacks are both really fun ones. They add a lot of detail to the landscape. So what fold does is it kind of essentially folds the actual landscape a bit and roughens it up while also adding a ton of detail. So it covers up all the deposits we got earlier, so you don't really get that anymore, but it's just a nice way to add a bunch of detail. And stacks is kind of similar in a different way where instead of kind of mushing it together, it really just like adds these striations kind of like in a desert area. So you get this really cool, almost like lava flow looking stuff. And then on top of that, you could add a little bit more erosion just to soften some of these edges and get some more flow between those stacks. So let's try using the alluvium erosion. And I like how this stacks is looking, so I'll just keep building off of that. So you can see that just kind of filled out some of these deeper areas and maybe it took away a little bit too much detail, but you can see how powerful this node-based system is because you can just keep adding to it and it just keeps cutting away or adding on top of it. Let's just add one more node and then we'll call it good. I'll try the canyonizer here. 
And that just kind of cut directly into what we had before, giving us some nice deep canyons and details all over the place without really affecting the overall shape of it. And like I said before, Gaia is a lot slower than World Crater, but maybe a little bit more powerful. So if we turn up the resolution in the preview from 1K to 2K, it's going to take quite a while to reprocess, but we'll see all these details a lot more clearly. And you can see the processing here happening. You can also see this little wheel down here that's following each patch. So it's showing you what section is being calculated at this time. You can also click this build time over here and it'll show you how much time each of these nodes is taking to calculate, which is really nice because if you have a huge set of nodes down here and one of them's taking up most of your time, you might reconsider using that node more than once, or at least you can just understand where all the time is going. So after turning it up to 2K, you can see it took over two minutes to calculate. So fairly slow, but just looking at the results, it's just beautiful. These canyon details are just amazing. So yeah, both World Creator and Gaia are amazing programs. They both have their strengths and weaknesses, but there's so much fun to play around with. So if you get a chance, dive in and see what you can create.